There are plenty of note-taking apps across iOS and Android, but two of the biggest names are Samsung Notes and GoodNotes. If you own a Samsung device, Samsung Notes is already built in and works seamlessly for jotting things down or organizing ideas. But if you prefer writing by hand, GoodNotes offers a digital notebook experience that feels close to pen on paper, perfect for sketchers, planners, and anyone who enjoys handwriting. So which one will actually make you more productive? Let's compare. The first thing you'll notice is the design. Samsung Notes keeps it simple and minimal. It comes pre-installed on Galaxy phones and tablet, and it integrates tightly with the system. The layout is straightforward, a clean sidebar, a top menu, and the ability to start typing or writing right away. Good Notes, on the other hand, feels more like handling physical notebooks. You can create as many digital notebooks as you want, complete with different covers and page styles. It's neat and structured, perfect if you want your notes organized like a real shelf. That that said, the setup is slightly more complex compared to Samsung Notes. So if you want something quick and fuss-free, Samsung Notes is the lighter option. If you like the feel of flipping through notebooks, GoodNotes nails that. Stylus support is where both apps shine. Samsung Notes is designed around the S Pen, and the handwriting feels fluid. You can quickly convert scribbles into text, switch pen types, adjust thickness, and even blend type notes with handwritten ones. GoodNotes pushes things further. Its handwriting recognition is top tier, making handwritten text fully searchable. Customization is deeper too. You can choose from different paper styles, import your own templates, and even save your favorite layouts. For journaling or detailed note-taking, this feels more advanced. So while Samsung Notes is excellent for S Pen users, GoodNotes takes the crown for sheer handwriting precision and flexibility. When it comes to keeping notes sorted, Samsung Notes uses a folder-based system. You can group, color code, add tags, and even pin important notes. It also supports keyword search, even for handwriting, so finding content is quick. Subfolders add another layer of structure for power users. Good Notes leans into the notebook metaphor. Think of it as a shelf of journals. You create a notebook, add unlimited pages, and rearrange them however you like. There's even an outline mode for building a table of contents. However, once you get deep into nested folders, navigation feels clunky. It's powerful, but can get messy compared to Samsung's more traditional file-like approach. Samsung Notes is packed with built-in features, voice recordings, PDF markup, syncing with OneNote, and even live transcript tools. You can add sketches, images, and links. Split screen support also lets you open multiple notes at once. Great for multitasking. The downside, limited customization for notebook styles or layouts. Good Notes is all about customization. It offers dozens of page templates, customizable covers, and tools like the lasso feature for moving handwriting, images, or text around. The elements tool lets you save and reuse stickers, drawings, or symbols. For students handling PDFs or creatives building journals, these extras make a big difference. Here's where the differences get sharper. Samsung Notes is mostly locked to Samsung's ecosystem. It syncs across Galaxy phones, tablets, and supported Windows PCs through Samsung Flow. But there's no true iOS or Mac version, so you'll have to export Notes to OneNote or Google Drive if you want cross-platform access. Good Notes started in the Apple ecosystem, working seamlessly across iPads, iPhones, and Macs via iCloud. Recently, it's also expanded to Android and Windows, though those versions are lighter and missing some advanced features. Still, Good Notes has a broader reach overall compared to Samsung Notes. Choosing between these two really depends on what device you use and how you like to take notes. If you're a Samsung user, Samsung Notes is the obvious pick. It's tightly integrated with the S Pen, easy to use, and feature rich enough for most people. If you want more customization and a real notebook feel, Good Notes is worth it, especially if you're in the Apple ecosystem or want to sync across multiple platforms. At the end of the day, it's not about which one is better overall, it's about which one fits your workflow. Go with Samsung Notes for simplicity and seamless Samsung integration, or Good Notes for handwriting heavy structured note taking.